Hi, I'm Nikhil Chandran. I'm a product technology specialist at Hands-On Systems. In this video, I'll be demonstrating workflows in Dynamics AX. Workflows in AX enable a business to model approval processes for different business documents such as vendor invoices, expense reports, and customer payments. Let me show you how easy it is to define, monitor, and modify business processes using workflows. Workflows are available in various modules in Dynamics AX. In this demo, I'm going to show you an example of an expense report workflow from travel and expense module. I can create a workflow by selecting the new action from the workflows list page. A number of different types of workflows are available. In this case, I am selecting expense report as the type of workflow. Every workflow has a start step and an end step. Workflows are designed by dragging and dropping workflow elements onto the canvas. In this example, I want to create an approval process for all expense reports that have a total expense of more than $200. This condition is represented by a conditional decision workflow element, which I'll drag onto the canvas. Finally, I need an approval step for expense reports. Now that I have added all the elements I need for my workflow, I can make connections between them. I want the condition to be evaluated as the first step, so I will link the start step to the decision step by clicking and dragging from the start step to the decision step. The approval step needs to be triggered if the condition is found to be true, so I will make a connection from the true outcome of the decision element to the approval step. If the condition evaluates to false, that is the total expenses are less than $200, the expense report should be automatically approved. So the false outcome will be linked to the end step of the workflow. Completion of the approval step also concludes the workflow. Hence the approval step will also be linked to the end step. Now we are ready to configure the elements in the workflow. Firstly, I need to configure the conditional decision control. I can do this by right clicking and selecting properties. The workflow element can be renamed to be more descriptive of the decision. One or more conditions can be added to the list of conditions by selecting the add condition button. Decision conditions can be created for any property of the expense report object such as status, legal entity and total expense. Conditions can also be added to line items in the expense report. In this example, I need to add a condition on the total expense property of the expense report. I can specify that the total expense should be greater than $200. I can also choose the currency for the condition. Next, I need to configure the approval workflow element itself. An approval could potentially consist of one or more steps. I can see the steps involved by double clicking on the approval element. This takes me to the next level inside the approval. By default, the approval process consists of one step only, but I can add more steps if required. In this case, I only need one approval step. I can configure this step by right clicking and choosing properties. I can rename the step, add a subject and a helpful message for the person receiving the approval request. A number of options are available to define whom to assign the approval request to. An approval request can be assigned to a user role, a user group or specific users in the system. In this case, I want to assign expense reports to a particular user. I can specify the number of days the approver has to approve or reject the expense report. 
In case of multiple approvers, I can specify whether approval should be obtained from a single approver, majority of approvers, a certain percentage of approvers, or all approvers. I can choose to execute this step all the time or only when one or more conditions are met. In this case, I want to execute this step every time. I can also specify escalation process for the approval request if the approval request is not actioned in a timely manner. I am not using an escalation path in this scenario. I can navigate back to the previous level and save and close the workflow. I can attach any notes to the workflow version and activate the new version of the workflow. Now let me show you the approval process in action for an expense report. Let me navigate to the employee self-service portal to create a new expense report. I fill in all the relevant information on this expense report and I can add my expense lines. In this case, the line amount is greater than $200 making the expense report total greater than $200. I submit the expense report with an optional comment. If the approval request gets assigned to me, I get notified and can take action in a number of different ways. I get a pop-up alert when an approval request gets assigned to me. I can click on the alert and select Go to Origin to open the expense report. I can approve, reject or delegate the approval request from actions in the expense report itself. Additionally, I can see all workflow items that require my approval from the work list area in my role center. I can open up the expense report for review or approve, reject or delegate directly from the work list. In this case, I have decided to approve the expense report directly from my work list. In this demo, we have seen how Workflow in Dynamics AX assists you in defining approval processes for your business documents. The capabilities of Workflow in AX helps ensure that your business policies and procedures are followed consistently. Workflows support different actions such as approvals, rejections, withdrawals and delegations. It also supports definition of rules for escalations and time limits for approvals. Workflows are easy to create using an intuitive visual workflow designer. Workflows in action are easy to monitor using Worklist. This helps you identify areas of improvement in your business processes. Workflows can be modified to create new versions and any version can be activated. It is also possible to automate certain steps depending on the type of workflow to improve the efficiency of your business processes. Thanks for watching. We are Hands-On Systems, a Microsoft Gold Partner for Enterprise Resource Planning Solutions.